Hey guys, it's Shaker Grub Geek here, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've got something super special for you guys. It's probably the most highly requested video ever on this channel. Uh, before I started YouTube, people were asking for it, and it is my entire Deadpool collection. So that's all of my Funko Pops, Dorbs, keychains, everything I've got with my Deadpool collection. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay hey guys, welcome back. So here, as you can see, is the Rainbow Squad. This is going to be the first segment of this entire collection. And I thought it was only right to include these as the starting point for this video. As this Rainbow Squad is technically the reason why I wanted to collect the Deadpool Pops. Well, it's the, the Pops that instigated the, the addiction for this Deadpool collection. Obviously, I love the character from the films. But I, when I saw this, I thought these were amazing. I had to collect them. Already had the Deadpool with the swords, but... As soon as I got that pop, I then started to try and collect these, and then it just sort of stemmed from there. So this is the Rainbow Squad. I'll quickly show you close-ups of each pop now. So this is Deadpool with the suit, as you can see there. A very cool pop. And you just point in, he's got a little suit, a little tuxedo there. So yeah, Deadpool with suit or Deadpool with tuxedo, however you want to say it. And then the next one we do have is the orange one, and this is Stingray. First member I'm showing you of the actual Rainbow Squad. So there he is, got an awesome cape there. <laughs> so yeah, this is Stingray. And then we have Slapstick. So if you guys don't know the story about the Rainbow Squad, they're basically, they stem from the comics. And uh, these are all of the sort of mercenaries that Deadpool has formed. He's formed a, a group of mercenaries to do his dirty work while he, I believe, goes off to fight with the Avengers. So here we have Solo next. So this is the green one. Yeah, really cool pops. I do absolutely love them. And uh, whenever people see my collection, even though they're not the most expensive pops in this line, they're usually the ones that people uh, mention and talk about, because they're just very nice to look at. They're obviously very colorful. And uh, yeah, this is Fall Killer, next one. He's really cool. And then the purple one, we've got Terra. So they're all pretty, pretty similar, just uh, a different color there. Uh, obviously the Slapstick and the Stingray all have a certain element to them. So Slapstick has the Sledgehammer and Stingray has the Cape, the different pose and stuff. Whereas the rest of them, these three are just the same color. And then we've got Madcap, who has the same body mold, but just a different head. And he's got a massive hat there. <laughs> So yeah, he's a really cool one. He's just very unique, very different. And then we have one of my favorite ones from the Rainbow Squad, and it is the Metallic Madcap. I love this pop. I just love the, the uh, metallic paint job. It's probably arguably my favorite paint job that Funko's ever done. I especially love the Metallic Deadpool that you'll see a little bit later. The really expensive one from San Diego Comic Con. But yeah, this is the Metallic Madcap. Really awesome looking pop there. So that does complete the Rainbow Squad. I'll quickly show you the uh, boxes as well. So as you can see, they're all Hot Topic exclusives, except the uh, Deadpool in the suit, which is the PX Previews exclusive. So anyway, yeah, these are the Rainbow Squad. Absolutely awesome, and the reason why I started basically collecting my Deadpool Pops. So let's get into the next phase of the collection. Okay, so now we have the first wave of lines that I kind of started to move into collecting when I started collecting Deadpool Pops, because I actually started collecting in 2017. Uh, when this line pretty much came out. This was the line I first targeted basically because they were quite cheap back then. They're still relatively cheap nowadays except maybe the Chef Deadpool. But yeah, let's start with the Chef Deadpool. So, but yeah, here is Chef Deadpool. I love this one. Uh, I just, just love the fact that Deadpool always has a little certain quirk about each character. Pretty much the start of when Deadpool started dressing up as stuff. Uh, this line, which is why I love it and uh, why I'm happy that it's the first line I got into uh, Because now he's just the dead pops that are out now that the stuff he's dressed up is just as is, is crazy So um, yeah, this the next one is Deadpool the rubber chicken Deadpool There he is there holding his little rubber chicken, so I'm gonna try and speed this up, so I'm not just Talking for days, but then we've got the cowboy Deadpool 
So this was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, which I'll show you uh, after I've spun all of them. So yeah, that is the Cowboy Deadpool. And then we do have just the regular thumb up Deadpool, where he's just got the gun there and clearly doing a little thumbs up because he's a cheeky little character, this Deadpool. So yeah, that is the thumb up Deadpool. And then we do have the Leaping Deadpool. This is actually one of my favorite Deadpools to date. I love the, you guys know, I love the dynamic pose pops. And uh, yeah, this one is really cool. So yeah, he's got his two swords there as well. I love that, that's very Deadpool, this pop. And then we've got another one with two swords. This is the Pirate Deadpool. So this is a really cool one. It's a Hot Topic exclusive as well. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, Pirate Deadpool there. And then technically the pop that started it all, this is the Deadpool with the two swords. This was the first Deadpool I ever bought. And uh, yeah, the first pop I ever bought actually for myself. I originally got into Funko Pop collecting because I bought them as presents for other people. And I was like, hey, these things are cool. I want to collect them. And uh, yeah, now we have uh, and now we have like a six grand collection. So yeah, that, that's been what, like in like four years of collecting. So yeah, and the next one we do have is the bath time Deadpool. So you've got a little shower cap there and he's holding a little rubber ducky. This one's quite cool as well. Yeah, cute little rubber ducky he's holding. So that's uh, the, the bath time Deadpool. So I'll quickly show you them now with all of the boxes turned so you can see the stickers. Right, so as you can see there, you can see all the stickers that I do have with these pops. I do have all the correct stickers from the American stores. When I first started collecting, I didn't get these stickers. I actually just purchased them with you know, underground toy stickers, special edition stickers. And then I realized that I was serious about collecting and wanted to collect all of the actual stickers. So speaking of stickers, I do have the actual sticker for the Cowboy Deadpool. So this is the 2016 Comic-Con exclusive Cowboy Deadpool. And as you can see there below me, he, the one I do have below me is the one with the shared sticker. And this is the actual Comic-Con sticker one. So I do collect all of the sticker variants as long as all of the many, many characters for Deadpool. But yeah, I thought I'd show you that as well. So these are the two different versions. So yeah, this was the first sort of wave I started collecting. So now let's get into the second part of this Deadpool wave. Okay, so before we get into the next like line or wave of Deadpool Pops, I want to quickly show you some alternatives to the first line. So there's three thumb up Deadpools and this is the blue X-Men one, which is pretty cool. Nice little, uh, nice color alternative to the regular red Deadpool. And this is the inverse version of that blue one. This is the yellow X-Men Deadpool, yellow X-Men thumb up Deadpool. And then we've got the white one, which is my personal favorite out of these three thumb up ones. So here we go, really nice white. And black there, really cool. Just looks really sleek. So that is that one. And then we have a different version of the red Deadpool, the two swords. So this is the X-Force Deadpool with the two swords. Really cool. I do really like this one. I like its red eyes. It looks pretty, uh, pretty menacing there. So that is the X-Force Deadpool with the two swords. So now I have them turned around. You guys can see the stickers for the boxes. So this one is an FYE exclusive. Uh, this one is an Amazon exclusive. This one is a sh the shared sticker for the 2016 San Diego Comic Con. And of course, I do have the official sticker for that Comic Con. So this is the official sticker for the 2016 San Diego Comic Con there. Yeah, a really tough one to get a hold of these. Well, this one and the cowboy one. You don't really see these ones around too often because they are getting quite old now. They're 2016, so uh, there's that one. And the X-Force one, that is a GameStop exclusive. One of the only sticker versions I don't have yet, so I'm kind of a failure, I don't have all of the pops, but it's just a sticker variant and it is of this one. So you can see this is the GameStop sticker. And I am on the hunt for the actual Asia sticker for it. So I will show you some Asia stickers coming up, but I don't have the old 2016 Asia sticker for this one. So, yeah, I'm still looking for that one, but uh, that one and then the con sticker for the Wade Wilson, the new Wade Wilson that's come out recently. Uh, I don't have that one yet as well, but I, I'll easily be able to get that one. I can literally go ahead and buy that right now if I wanted to. So anyway, yeah, these were, I thought I'd just show you the quick alternatives for these pops. Now let's get into the next wave of Deadpool Pops. Okay, so the next line of pops is one of my favourite lines in this whole collection. 
and this is the sort of the line that came out around about 2018 time. So uh, we were also joined by the Deadpool head, as you can see in the background now. He was feeling a bit left out, so uh, and he wanted to be in this Deadpool video, which is understandable. He is Deadpool's head. So anyway, let's get into the first pop of this collection. So here we have is Bob Ross dressed as Deadpool. Now, if you haven't seen the skit for this on YouTube, I definitely recommend going and watching it. It's really funny. And uh, this technically for me is the only, well, I believe it's the only Deadpool that is actually Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool, because obviously all of these are like sort of from the comics and things. But this is actually the only Deadpool that is Ryan Reynolds related. And the next one we have is the Laying Down Deadpool. A very unique pop, a very unique pose as well. So there he is. Deadpool Laying Down or Sexy Deadpool. And then we have one that's kind of similar. And that is the Mermaid Deadpool. So uh, for those of you who are thinking where is like the other versions of these, so the metallic version of this. They will be coming straight after this sort of line, but I thought we'd just do sort of the common versions for now. But that is the Mermaid Deadpool. And then we've got Clown Deadpool. He's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, a very unique one. I do like this one a lot. He's got his uh, balloon, balloon weapons there. <laughs> and uh, he's either Clown Deadpool or Pennywise Deadpool, I guess. And then we've got the Chicken Deadpool. Chicken Deadpool's pretty, pretty cool. He's got... His chicken there in his one hand, then his bucket full of uh, more chicken. So, uh, chicken eating chicken. So yeah, Deadpool dressed as a chicken there. And then we've got the Gandalf Deadpool, or the Wizard Deadpool. So this is actually one of my favourite ones in the line as well. Really cool pop there. Wizard Deadpool. So, the next one we do have is Cheerleader Deadpool. Now, if you, <laughs> if you know about the other version of this pop, don't worry, that one is coming as well. But yeah, this one's really uh, cool. Deadpool dressed as a cheerleader, why not? And then I think my favourite from this set of pops here has to be the King Deadpool. I just love all the detail on this pop. It's so cool. Loads of little cool, funny little features in it as well. Like he's, he's holding a burger. So it's meant to be like the Burger King Deadpool. And yeah, really cool one there. King Deadpool. And last out of this little selection of Deadpool pops we got is the bedtime Deadpool and here he is holding his little panda and he's in his unicorn slippers of course he is his little Deadpool robe as well so yeah really cool there so these only just fit on the table but we do have the so these two are like common pops and then we've got the Target exclusive Mermaid Deadpool and then the Amazon exclusive Chicken Deadpool the Barnes and Nobles exclusive Wizard Deadpool, and then the Box Lunch exclusive, uh, Cheerly Deadpool here with the FYA exclusive King Deadpool, and then the Betum Deadpool is also just a common. So yeah, this line is really awesome, I do absolutely love it, and this is what really like propelled me into loving collecting Deadpool Pops, I'm just really enjoying collecting them. So that is these ones, so we're going to get into the sort of special versions of these Pops, and then a few more from this sort of line as well, or this year of Deadpool Pops. Okay guys, so as you can see, we've got some really awesome Pops here in this second part of the like the 2018 uh, Pops, and then a few from the same line as the one before. But yeah, this is the first one that we're gonna show you, and this is the Deadpool on Scooter, a really awesome Pop here, uh, a Pop Ride actually, in a, uh, in a, in a regular four inch Pop, it's kind of weird, but yeah, Deadpool on Scooter, it's a really nice one. And then we do have a uh, really shiny, glittery, sexy Deadpool. So uh, this one is awesome. In all his glittery goodness. Here he is, laying down Deadpool. He is awesome. And then we have another. So that one was the exact same as the one before, but just glittery. And then we have one that's also the same as the mermaid one before. But this is me the metallic mermaid Deadpool. There we go. And then we do have a really awesome one here. This is the 1000 piece San Diego Comic Con, the 2018 San Diego Comic Con exclusive glitter, or pink glitter cheerleader. So yeah, I absolutely love this pop. Uh, I got it quite a while ago for about $200. I think it's a bit more than that now, it might be like $300, but yeah, it's a really expensive pop and it's a grail in the collection that I knew I needed. Well, obviously I need them all, but um, yeah, really awesome pop here. So that is the Cheerleader Glitter Deadpool, and that's the same as the other Cheerleader, just pink and glittery. 
Uh, and then we move on to the panda pools. Now, the panda pool, there is the regular panda pool. As you can see here, absolutely awesome one again. <laughs> Obviously, all of these pops are going to be awesome to me, but uh, some pops are just that more special. So this line, I feel like most of them are a bit more special than the previous line. So that is the panda pool. And then there is a flocked version of the panda pool as well. So here he is in all his fluffy goodness. <laughs> Flocked Panda Pool. I absolutely love Panda Pool. It's definitely one of my favourite favourites on the line. And then sticking with the Panda Pool theme, um, we do have two more to show you. So um, these are the actual. This is the actual sticker. So I know I've got two flocked and two normal, but this is the actual sticker for the flocked Panda Pool. So the other one I have got is the EMP sticker that's like exclusive over here. And then this one is the Asia sticker for the regular Panda Pool. So that one's pretty awesome. As well, very hard to come by. I've only ever seen one of these. And then obviously, this is quite common, but it's just cool to have the US exclusive version of it. So the next one we do have is the Samurai Deadpool. Now this one is absolutely awesome. And you can see there he's got the tacos going up his sword. And the detail on this one is really cool. I love the chain mail as well. And just there's so much detail to this one. There's a lot going on with this pop. Really nice pop there, Samurai Deadpool. And the second to last one on this run is the Deadpool with the Chimichanga. <laughs> so uh, yeah, really cool ones. This is the X-Force Deadpool with Chimichanga, I should say. Pretty nice. And then we have the Deadpool on Unicorn. Look how cool this one is. So unfortunately, I don't have the box to show you guys, but I will leave an image up like now. Uh, because it is in storage and I can't bother to get it out. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's so deep in there. Because I've had this pop for so long. So yeah, that is the uh, Deadpool on Unicorn. Really cool. Pop there. And uh, oh, I also forgot to mention that we do have a couple uh, different sticker variants as well. So I'll start with the Samurai one. We've just had a little spin off. And this is also the Asia sticker one. So the same as the Panda Pool. So you've got the two Asia ones there. Yeah, never seen another Samurai Asia exclusive one. So the, for me, these ones are really rare, well, especially over here. Probably in Asia, they might not be as, as rare. But anyway, we've also got the Chicken Deadpool. This was for the SDCC 2018, I believe. And this is the Amazon Treasure Truck exclusive. So obviously Amazon took a truck down there and had a truck full of them. I don't think they're that rare, but they might be one that might be rare in the future because... There is less of them. They are, technically are a limited piece, but uh, yeah, they're not. They're still kind of the same value as the Amazon exclusive one. But oh, I think they might be a little bit more rare. But anyway, so that is that run of pops. So just quickly showing you the stickers for the pops as well. We've got the Diamond Hot Topic exclusive for the Glitter Laying Down or Sexy Deadpool. Then we've got the Target exclusive for the Merm Metallic Mermaid Deadpool. So then we've got the Hot Topic for regular Panda Pool, and this time, as I say, we've got the EMP sticker for this flocked Panda Pool. And we've got GameStop for the Samurai, and then the 7-Eleven exclusive for the X-Force Chimichanga Deadpool. And I really like this sticker, this is probably one of my favourite favorite stickers, just because it's really rare. I don't know why I like it, it's quite an ugly sticker, but I like it because it's, uh, it's quite like a unique sticker. Uh, whereas obviously all these big US stores are quite common. And uh, yeah, and obviously... I don't have the box, but for the Unicorn Deadpool, that is the MCC, the Marvel Collector Corp sticker in the box and, you know, all that good stuff. So let's get into the next line now. Okay, so getting into the new wave of Deadpool Pops. So these are kind of like the ones that were just after, or well, during 2018, I think, and then just after that previous wave, just all the random ones that got released. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to start with the Deadpool of Candy Canes here. A really nice pop. Uh, he's got quite a cool, like, stance there, and he's holding the Candy Canes like he's like he would with the two swords uh but they're just candy canes instead and then we've got the this is i prefer this one as the one of the holiday pops this is deadpool holding the turkey and he's got, got the big turkey there with his little little oven mitts and the apron there <laughs> it's just a cool pop and his eyes are a little bit different yeah a really uh cute little pop there for deadpool and now we do have two really nice pops here we have the gamer deadpools so this is the regular Gamer Deadpool, and this is the GameStop exclusive. They came in like those uh, GameStop like boxes, the mystery box things, where you could like maybe get a chance to get uh, the Chase Pop, which is this one, 
which is basically the same pop, it's just this one is uh, the unmasked version. As you can see there, the unmasked version. Pretty nice pop. But yeah, so that is the chase version of that one. So next we do have Lady Deadpool. Now this is a pop I was so hyped for when it got released, so I'm really happy they finally made a Lady Deadpool. I just really want them to make the rest of the family now, so Kidpool, uh, Dogpool, Headpool would be cool. I know they've done the Marvel Zombies Headpool, but um, yeah, I'm just happy they've made Lady Deadpool. She's really cool there, and it was a much needed pop to make. And then we do have, going back in in time to what Deadpool used to look like. So this was uh, based off of his, off the first comic. Actually, I'll show you quickly. This was the comic, the New Mutants comic where Deadpool first appeared in, created by Rob Liefeld. So here is the Deadpool from that. Really cool. I like the uh, the old classic swords there, the, well, the sword and the gun's really cool. So yeah, it's quite a, uh, an OG looking, looking pop in kind of like a new mold, which is quite nice. Then we have the metallic version of that pop. I do think this one's really nice. I like the metallic little details, the sort of damage, wear and tear on his armor there. It just looks really cool. It makes it look like a metal suit instead. But yeah, that's really nice. Metallic Deadpool there. And now just quickly showing you the stickers for the pop. So these two are commons. These two are GameStop exclusives. I do really like the Chase one. Obviously GameStop exclusive Chase sticker there. Really nice. And this one is pop in a box. And this one is a box lunch exclusive. Okay, so now as you can see, we've got the big boys out. We've got the 10 inch Deadpool Pops. Now I'll just quickly give these guys a spin for you. So we've got the, first off, the X-Force 10 inch Deadpool, Deadpool of Two Swords. So obviously there is the, I showed you earlier, the four inch version of this pop. Yeah, that's the 10 inch version. And then we've got the exact same pop, just the normal Deadpool colour, normal Deadpool red, exact same pop, Deadpool with two swords. And then a really cool one here, a very unique one in the Deadpool line. It's a full gold, sort of metallic y uh, 10 inch Deadpool with two swords. See, that's really cool, very unique to this line. There's not many, well, I think this is the only one that's got like a full coat of something. So, like, what that makes them sort of the same colour. So, it's not just like a metallic paint job. The glow in the dark or whatever it's uh it's unique so here is the thumb up deadpool really cool and then we've got another thumb up one so three two swords and then two thumb up deadpools this is the x-men version so all of these pops do have four inch versions except for the one in the middle which is the gold one uh, which is why I do really like it, but I still don't know why they had to make five 10 inch Deadpools. I wish they just made kind of like one, or at least if they made them, made them like different. Like, I don't, maybe make just the regular one, one of the regular ones, and then make like a gold one, and then maybe like another cool orange one, or something like that, something a little bit different. Uh, yeah, I don't really get why they've made just made them bigger, but I still really like them, they're still really cool. Okay guys, so now we have the big boys not in their size, but in their values. So these are the OGs and Grails that I like to call them this sort of little section. So these were the pops that were out before I even started collecting. They range from around about 2013 to 2015, I believe, all of these pops here. <laughs> so yeah, these are really awesome. So I'm gonna show you a few close-ups of them now. So I'm just gonna move them to the side. So here is the orange Deadpool there. Really awesome. So all of these Deadpools have the exact same sort of sides to them and stuff. So I'm not gonna really spin all of them. I'm just gonna show you the front of them. Apart from the, the Freddy, actually, but yeah, so this that's the orange Deadpool. I can't remember what convention that's exclusive to. It just says the 2013 show exclusive, convention exclusive, limited edition variant. That's the whole thing on the sticker there. And then we've got the regular. So this isn't that expensive. It's just uh, part of the OG line. So this is the regular Deadpool. And then we have the first white Deadpool. This one's pretty nice, similar to the one you saw earlier. This is just the first version of it. Really cool looking pop there. I do really like the, the white Deadpool. And this is like the Matt's exclusive, the Matt's Cavaclade of comics exclusive. So that's pretty nice. So next up we do have the regular glow in the dark Deadpool. Really cool one here, quite expensive. I think it's gone up to like about $300 now. I think I got it for like $60 back in the day. So that one is crazy. Uh, and then we've got the, this is the Glow in the Dark Error Deadpool, so I'll show you the error for this one uh, after I've shown you all of these pops. I'll show you all of the glows 
that I do have for this line. And this one is one of my favourites. This is such an awesome pop and deserved of this 7 bucks a pop pop stack. Now this is the Metallic Deadpool, the 480 pieces SDCC 2013 Metallic Deadpool. I absolutely love this pop. It's such a nice pop there. So cool. I can get a, a nice shine to it there. But really cool pop, a very rare one now. You don't really see this too often anymore. And then we have the biggest of the big boys. We do have the Freddy Funko Deadpool or the Fred Pool. Now this one is limited to 300 pieces and it's from the uh, 2014 San Diego Comic Con. And this one is really nice. I do absolutely love this pop and I've got it in mint condition as well. So I'm super happy to have that because there's not a lot of these out there anymore you just don't really see these and when you do they're usually quite damaged so i'm so happy i've got a mint one in my collection and uh, then we do have another really epic pop so there's a lot of cool pops in this little section here and this one is the rob liefeld signed deadpool or the white deadpool glow in the dark and uh yeah signed by the creator of deadpool which is rob liefeld as you can see there there's a signature again so i've technically got two signatures there from him but yeah really cool pop and uh, one of my most pr prized possessions in the collection as well. So they are the, the, the big boys. I'm going to move them to the side quickly so I can show you these ones. So next we have is the inverse Deadpool. This was like the first grail that I wanted when I started collecting. Uh, I really wanted this pop. I never thought I'd actually own the metallic one. And then I really didn't <laughs> think I'd own the Freddy. So yeah, to get this one, I got this one just before I got the metallic one and I was so happy to have this one finally in my collection so yeah I do really like this one for that reason as well and it's just a really cool pop I love the inverse look of Deadpool and I'm really happy that they're making some new inverse Deadpool so they've got the Dino Pool which is inverse but I kind of want them to make a an updated mold of the regular Deadpool pop that would be really cool so next we do have I'll show you the X-Force Deadpool so just a regular X-Force Deadpool Hot Topic exclusive there and then we do have the two unmasked Deadpools, which are really nice. We've got the regular one, PX Previews exclusive, and then we have the X-Force version. So yeah, two really cool pops, quite underrated these two. Uh, I do really like them. So yeah, these were the OGs and Grails that I do have for my Deadpool collection. I absolutely love all of these pops. And yeah, I know not a lot of people have some of these pops. They are very rare now, so I'm super happy that I did finally get these for my collection. So yeah, I'm really happy to get all of the expensive ones out of the way. Uh, hopefully I don't ever have to pay these sorts of prices for a Deadpool pop again. I think the most I paid was that Freddy, and I got him for around about, I think it was $600 or five, five $600, I think, uh, which is equivalent to about 400 and something pounds. And now he has gone through the roof and he is still climbing to this day. So, yeah, I'm super happy I got him when I did. I took the gamble and it has paid off. But yeah, these are the grails. And I'm going to show you the three glows that I did mention briefly. So I've got my black light torch here, which I'm going to use to glow up the pops. And then I'm going to turn off my lights right now. And I'm going to shine these up and show each of them and their glows and stuff. So I'm going to turn them off now. Okay, so let's shine up the regular glow in the dark Deadpool first. So as you can see there, I'm just going to going to level them up, power them up. Okay, so I'm also going to turn off this light in the background as well. So now I should just have my monitor on. So it should be dark enough to see if we can get these glowing for the camera. So let's just have a look. Uh, so it's not really picking it up. I'm going to try it on my phone and see if it looks a bit better. So yeah, it does look a lot better on my phone. So I'm going to quickly show you the glow. This is the regular glow in the dark Deadpool, and then we are going to. So and then we're going next. We're going to do the Rob Liefeld signed white glow in the dark Deadpool, and uh, yeah, let's see if we can get a good glow on this one. So yeah, look at that, such an awesome glow on the white one there. The the red one is a bit lackluster, but the white one looks really nice. And then this one is the Glow in the Dark Error Deadpool. So you can see there it was it was only a very limited number that got this error. So that is the Error Deadpool there. Really cool pop. And a very rare one, a very hard to find Deadpool pop. So that was the three glows for these three pops here. Uh, let's get into the next segment. Okay, so for the next part we do have Deadpool's Chimichanga trucks as you can see here. 
Uh, again, my boxes for these are now deep in storage, but I do have one of them here to show you, which is the alternative sticker variant to this one. But anyway, to start off with, we have the regular Deadpool's chimichanga truck. So this is the Deadpool holding the chimichanga. It comes with the truck. And this is the truck. So that's pretty cool. And this is the 2016, I believe, New York, or 2015 New York Comic Con exclusive. Uh, this red one. And then the common one here, we have, again, it's pretty similar. Well, pretty much identical pop. The uh, red chimichanga, Deadpool, and then we've got the yellow truck, which is exactly the same. It's just yellow. So yeah, we do have all the menu, the food items on the side, which is quite a cool touch. So yeah, you can read all those if you want, guys, but it's quite a cool uh, little attention to detail in the trucks there. And then we do have the X-Force version. So there is the pop, again, pretty much the same with the grey truck here. So they're all exactly the same, nothing different about them. Um, just different colours really. So I did take images of these all on my Instagram. So we'll show the red one now which shows the New York Comic Con sticker here. Really cool pop. And then I'll show you the yellow one now which is the normal one. It doesn't have a sticker. It's just the normal Deadpool's chimichanga truck. And then I'll show you the grey one now which has the shared sticker for this pop. And then you can see the difference in the stickers. So this is the actual sticker from the Comic Con itself. So I'll do a little 360 off the box. They're all pretty much exactly like this uh, all the other boxes so I think these are really cool so yeah these were the trucks I do absolutely love these and they just make for really nice like display pieces in your collection a bit like the rainbow squad they're just really cool to look at and they're just something a little bit different in the pop lines so yeah let's get into the next ways okay guys so here are the next sort of line of pops and this is kind of like the not quite Deadpool section. So it's like a zombie version of Deadpool, then them sort of Deadpools, and then just different versions. So, so the first one we've got is Duckpool. Now, Duckpool is awesome. I do love this pop. Uh, it's, just, it's just very unique, isn't it? Really cool looking pop there. So that is Duckpool. And he is a Walgreens exclusive as well. And then we have the El Chimichanga de la Muerte pop. So I got this one really recently from my Pop in the Box sub. So yeah, pretty cool pop. And then we do have the two, the, the, well, the three Marvel Zombies pops. So this is just a regular uh, zombie Deadpool. He's holding his hand there and he's got a sword going straight through him. Yeah, the detail on this pop is insane. I absolutely love this one just for that reason alone. And then the, the whole zombie vibe, I love it. It's so cool. Yeah, just absolutely awesome pop. And then this one is arguably... A little bit better because it features a little head pull there, which is really nice. So this is regular Deadpool just with, uh, the, well, the head pull, the zombie head pull, I mean. So yeah, that one's really cool. And then the big boy in the middle, as you can see here, this pop is amazing. And it's the 10-inch zombie Deadpool. Look at that. Look how cool that is. So as you can see, yeah, he's quite different from the, uh, the regular Zombie Deadpool, which I find pretty cool. He's holding the sword instead of it going straight through him. And his arm isn't like cut off. So he's actually uh, in one piece of the Zombie Deadpool. Except he's got a few bullet wounds in him and stuff. So next off, we've got the Venom Pool. So I'm quickly going to unbox them. So I can give you a quick spin of them. Okay, so I've now unboxed them all. So here are all the Venom Pools. Now, this is the first I'm going to show you. This is the Venom Pool from the Back in Black comic, I believe it's called. And uh, yeah, really awesome Venom Pool there. I love his purple swords there, or pink swords. Uh, they're damn cool. So yeah, that is the Venom Pool. Here's from the comics. And then next we've got the Deadpool slash Venom uh, pop. So that's Venom just taking over Deadpool there. So this is the common sort of version. Well, Poppin' Ox exclusive, but... So here is the metallic Deadpool. And it's just the exact same as the other one. Just metallic paint job on him. I think it looks really nice. I like the... The way it's a bit of a darker red than the matte red. And then we do have the Venom Pools. These ones are awesome. I actually like this one actually I think I prefer. I don't know why. I just like his the way he's kind of like come at me with his hands there. <laughs> and he's just smiling with the that venom tongue. So then next up we do have the Venom Pool with the phone. So same as the other one, it's just he's holding a phone instead and he's pointing his finger up. Yeah, I just love both of these pops, they're so cool. And yeah, that is all of the Venom and Deadpool. So these three were Pop in the Box exclusives. As you can see in the middle one, it's got like the older Pop in the Box sticker. 
And then the two on the sides are the newer Poppin' Box sticker because they are newer pops. And then this one's just a common. And then this, the one with the hole in the phone, was a GameStop exclusive. So, yeah, that is all of the sort of the obscure, different kind of looking Deadpools. So we're getting through it now. We're probably over halfway, I hope. Uh, it's, I know it's been a really long video, so thank you to everyone who's still watching. Hopefully I've sort of cut it down quite a bit, but yeah, I've been recording for a, quite a long time now. So let's get into the new line of Deadpool Pops, which I'm really looking forward to unboxing now. Okay guys, and now for the fun part of the video, and that's because I've got a box to, uh, to open up, and this is from Odin's Vault, and this was an offer that they were running, five, I think it was five for 40 pounds on uh, the Deadpool like common pops so I thought that's the cheapest I've seen them anywhere so I thought I had to take this offer up and I know just buying from Odin's Vault in the past and getting sent something free in the past I know that they package really well over there so I knew all of these pops would come to me in neat condition so that's the reason why I went with them and it was just the cheapest and I don't think I've seen any cheaper since so really good deal from Odin's Vault and I know all the pops come in pop protectors as well. So I'm really looking forward to seeing all of these pops in here. So here we have them. All the Deadpool commons in there. And I see a little extra something which is really cool. So we've got a nice little, uh, oh, Star Wars. Is this a Mandalorian keychain? That's really awesome. So um, it is Steve over at Odin's Vault who I chat to. And uh, yeah, really nice guy. So he's clearly just sent me uh, something for free there. So that's really awesome of him. Uh, so this is a Deadpool video though, I'm not allowed to show Star Wars stuff, but that is really cool. So I'm going to leave that over there, that's the Mandalorian keychain. And we actually do have another one in here. So we've got a, a, a Darth Vader one as well. Oh, so that's really cool. Really awesome there, Darth Vader keychain. Yeah, huge thank you to Steve over at Odin's Vault. Awesome. Really happy with that. Right, I think that is all of the free items that we do have in this box. So let's just crack on and get into the pops. So we've got massive bubbles here. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna get these out in no particular order. I'm just gonna start with the birthday Deadpool. So here we go. This is the Deadpool in cake. So this is to celebrate the nerdy 30 years of Deadpool. And this is the line that I will be unboxing. All of these pops will be unboxed today or showcased at least. So yeah, this is the 30, nerdy 30 years Deadpool in cake. So I will get this one out quickly as well. So here we are. This is the Deadpool in cake. Such an awesome pop. So he's bursting out the cake there with his two swords. Very Deadpool. All the candles around it, really nicely detailed. So yeah, Deadpool in cake is the first one. Right, and the next one we do have is the Barrister Deadpool. So this one's really cool as well. And there we have him, the Barrister Deadpool. Holding a like a drink or probably a coffee. <laughs> so that is that. So I'll quickly unbox him as well. Okay, so here he is. He's got a little bit of plastic on him. But here is the Barrister Deadpool. <laughs> a really cool one. I love his beard and his moustache there. <laughs> Very quirky and different looking Deadpool. He looks like kind of like a hipster. Hipster guy. <laughs> With his sandals. Yeah, really cool. I like his little like bun there. <laughs> That's really cool. It's like tying up his... um is like mask. <laughs> See that is the Barrister Deadpool. So the next one we do have is the Backyard Griller Deadpool. So this one's cool because it's got like an extra little thing next to it which I'll uh, show you better in a second. But yeah, the, this one's cool. He's got like the little like flamethrower thing there. So uh, let me just quickly unbox him. Okay, so this one is a little bit different. He's got like two little pieces here with, with him which I'll show you in a second. Uh, but here is this, obviously the main, the main pop. Pleased to meet you I think it says on him there. Yeah, pleased to meet you. <laughs> Backyard Gorilla Deadpool. This one's awesome. I love the little like translucent flame coming out of there. And his little hat on the side and his, his winky little eye. <laughs> very Deadpool, very cheeky. And these were the two little items that did come with Deadpool. Here are the two little items. It's going to be really hard to focus these. There we go. Two little items there. You've got the barbecue and then a little pyro thing. So yeah, there are those two. Okay, so the next pop that we've got is the Roman Senator Deadpool. So this one's pretty cool. Uh, a bit more of like, well, this one's a bit less like crazy. It's just him dressed as like a Roman Emperor or something, or Roman Senator, I guess. Okay, so here's a quick spin of him. Roman Senator Deadpool. There we go, pretty nice. It's 
Spillow's hand out and his little dagger behind him, I've just realised. <laughs> That's cool. So that nice little touch. It's something you don't see uh, if you just have them in box. I think it's kind of a crime to, to keep some pops in box, especially if they've got a lot more detail to them. And especially these like newer Devil Pops, obviously they're, they're a bit cheeky. They've got like added details to them. So I'm going to put these just in front for now, and then I'll get a better shot of them a little bit later on. So we've got two more in this box. And we do have one that's kind of a bit similar, and it's the LARP Deadpool. So I don't actually know what a LARP is. I don't know if that's an American term. I don't know if it's just like a general term, and I just don't know what it is, but I feel like I don't know what a LARP is. I'm guessing it's, it looks like a kid like playing like pretending he's the hero or something. But I guess nowadays people want to be, you know, Iron Man, Spider-Man things. They dress up as them in the garden and stuff. So I'm guessing this is Deadpool dressing up as his hero as a little kid. Uh, but he's probably not a kid because he's Deadpool. So, <laughs> yeah. So here he is. He's got kind of like the wooden sword that's bending and the wooden shield. So that's kind of cool. And then he's got his, uh, I don't know, like a towel or something wrapped around him or a rag. And he's got some sneakers, some shoes there. <laughs> yeah, that one's pretty nice. Good detail on that one. He's got some like fake ears as well. So uh, we also do have a sticker in this box. Here's the company, Odin's Vault. That Steve does run. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Got another sticker. And this one is actually in the back of my laptop. So now I've got another one in the background. And the last one we do have is the Flamenco Deadpool. I uh, really like this one. This one's a bit bit different, so he's got a, like a different pose about him, which is quite cool. And this is obviously like the Spanish vibes of this one, the flamenco dancers and things. And here he is, here's the close up of the flamenco Deadpool. He's got a little hat there off to the side, so it's like the, uh, the backyard griller one. <laughs> he's got the hat to the side, and he's got the, oh, they begin with M, Maca, Macarena's, Maca something, <laughs> I can't remember, I think that's right. The, the shaky things that make sounds when you dance and stuff. So yeah, that is that. Pretty awesome pop there. So these were the six I did get from Odin's Vault. And uh, yeah, pretty awesome pops there. So yeah, these are the six pops I did get from Odin's Vault. And now we're going to move on to unboxing some of the exclusives for this line. And then some of the ones I'd already collected. So uh, let's get into that now. Right guys, so these are the ones that I've accumulated in the past that I've already unboxed on the channel before. So let's just get dive right into them. So this is Dino Pool, still from this nerdy 30 years line. And this one is probably the best one. So I did uh, show this off in my Pop Roundup video really recently. So yeah, that's Dino Pool. Uh, very awesome pop there. And then we've got the Funko, the new Funko Shop sticker there. The new Funko Shop exclusive, Nerd Pool. And uh, I love the little details on this one. There's loads of like little hidden Easter eggs in this on this pop, which is really cool. So yeah, let's see if you can spot them out for yourself. But uh, there is the uh, the weapons in the bag, and then you've got the uh, the weapons like book that he's carrying, then the pants that are behind him that he's like just had a wedgie. I love math badge, and yeah, just loads of cool little details on that pop, which is awesome. So the next one we do have is the Hot Topic exclusive ballerina Deadpool, and here it is. The Hot Topic exclusive Ballerina Deadpool. So yeah, Deadpool dressing up as a female character again. Doing what he does best. <laughs> I will guess, well, I guess it's 2021. You can be whatever you want nowadays. So that's Deadpool dressed as a ballerina. And then we've got another weird one. Uh, this was a 2021 Spring Convention exclusive. And this is Deadpool with... I don't really know what it is. It's just Deadpool with like bunnies on his trousers and then he's like shirtless with his thumbs up. Yeah, this is just a crazy weird pop. It literally just says Deadpool on it, so it doesn't like explain what it is. But yeah, kind of a weird one, but Deadpool is weird, so it's fine. And next up we do have the Pop Culture, well, and Funko Shop exclusive made Deadpool there. So I will give you a quick little spin of them as well. So another one where Deadpool is dressed up as a girl or as a female character. So yeah, 2021, as I said, you can be whatever you want and Deadpool wants to be a maid, so that's fair enough. He's being a little cheeky there, pulling up his skirt. So yeah, that is made Deadpool. So these were the, all the ones I did have previously and now we're gonna unbox all of the new exclusives that I'm really excited to uh, take a first look at as well. 
Okay guys, so these are all the boxes that I do have to open. They're all Deadpool related, so I'm just going to get them out of the way and then we can unbox them all. Okay, so let's start with this one first. It's a FedEx box. It looks a bit battered, so hopefully the pop is in good condition. Which one are we going to start with? And this one is the 7-Eleven exclusive, uh, the Deadpool in cake, so pretty nice one there. So this is the metallic version of the 30, the dead, well the Deadpool in cake, the nerdy 30 years one that we did just unbox. So yeah, really cool, get them out quickly as well. And this one is pretty damn cool. Uh, you guys know I love a metallic paint job and look at this, look how shiny he looks in his cake. <laughs> Bursting out there. Yeah, very, very awesome pop here. So that is the Deadpool in cake, 7-Eleven exclusive. And that one was well packaged, so that's why it came fine. Right, and the next box we got is one from, by looks like Walmart. And here we go. And this one is the Construction Worker Deadpool. So I know I ordered a few of these, so there's only one here. So I think the other big Walmart box has a few more, so I won't bother going through that one. But yeah, here is the Construction Worker. Deadpool, the Walmart exclusive. So that's pretty damn cool there. Another one where Deadpool is dressed up as another thing. <laughs> so here we go, the construction worker Deadpool, and this one's actually really nice. I've just noticed a few little uh, <laughs> little things already. So again, one of the main reasons why you guys should be collecting out of box and not just keeping all of them in box is because you, you miss things like this. Like, look how cool. Look how cool that is. Like he's got loads of little weird things on his belt there, like a teddy bear and his weapons. And uh, another thing here, the woman on the side of his hat, that's quite cool, and then the hammer time as well. There, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Walmart exclusive construction worker Deadpool. So yeah, these ones will mainly just be all of the exclusives that I have purchased from eBay and from the retailers over in America that I could purchase through my US, so Walmart is one of them. So what is this one? Okay, cool, so I don't really need to unbox this one, but this one is the official con sticker version of the pop Deadpool that I just don't know what's going on about him, but um, but yeah, the official con sticker for that pop. There we go, so that's pretty nice. It's good to have one of these in the collection. The next one we do have, oh, this is a cool one. So this one is one that I I feel like it might go up in value over time as these black light pops are getting really popular now. And I love the box art of these and I just love the pop in general. I think they're so cool. So yeah, this is the Target exclusive black light Deadpool. And here we are, here's a spin of him. Yeah, really cool. So he's really like pink. Yeah, black light Deadpool. Okay, so I'm going to leave the bigger boxes. I'm going to unbox this one that's just in the sorter. So it says Deadpool 30 on it, but it says Hulk Blacklight on the side. Uh, and this is the Happy Birthday one. So this is quite cool. Another Target exclusive. So the Happy Birthday glasses Deadpool. Also from the Nerdy 30 Years line. Well, all of these are from the Nerdy 30 Years line, except for the Blacklight pop, which is from the Blacklight line. So yeah, I get this one out quickly. Yeah, so... um. This one, when it got first released, I was like, oh, this one's so stupid. I still don't think it's that great. Uh, it just looks a bit cheap to me because the glasses don't look great. I know it's meant to kind of look cheap with the with the guns and stuff, but yeah, not a massive fan of this one. Well, I do like it. It's just not as good as some of the other pops in this line. But yeah, that's Happy Birthday Glasses Deadpool. But I feel like the cake is also like enough. Like you don't need another like one celebrating that. Right, the next one we do have... I think this is the, yep, the Sherlock Deadpool, so another one where he's dressed as a specific character. And this is the GameStop exclusive Sherlock Deadpool. There we go. See, I'm finding it hard to uh, <laughs> try and talk about these Deadpools in a different way. Uh, there's just so many of these Deadpools now. And... Uh, yeah, this video is probably, you know, well over an hour long already, I imagine. Depends how much I try and, you know, cut out from this video. Yeah, this is the Sherlock Deadpool and another another one that has a really cool detail which you're going you guys are going to see in a second. So, here we go, the knife in the back. So, 
That is a clue. Well, the, the clue hopefully will tell tell us who's killed or who stabbed him in the back. <laughs> this is meant to be kind of like the uh, Cluedo theme, uh, which is quite cool. So hopefully Sherlock Deadpool can, uh, can find that in his back and discover who is the killer. Right. And we're left with two more boxes now. So, oh, this one's going to be awesome to, to unbox. So this one is... Get out of the way. This is awesome. So this is the King Deadpool PX previews exclusive. This pop is going to be amazing to have a look at. I'll just quickly show you the spin of the box. King Deadpool there. So I've seen the comic to this one. It's a really cool like front cover for it. And I think there is a pop version of the comic as well. Uh, but this is <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. I just want to look at it before I show you guys. Because uh, yeah, I'm looking at all of these for the first time myself. So yeah, King Deadpool there, because I've saved all of these pops for this video. And uh, yeah, that's an absolutely incredible looking pop. The detail on it is insane, just the pop is insane in general. I do absolutely love this one. So yeah, King Deadpool there. That's pretty damn awesome. I'm going to sit him up here. Okay, and the final box, I'm not going to go through the, yeah, they're just all of the, there's a couple more uh, construction work Deadpools that do actually have some damage to them, so that is really annoying. And that's the reason why I did want to buy multiple ones from Walmart, because their packaging is not very good. But anyway, this is, <laughs> I'm just opening this, this is the Deadpool third, Nerdy 30 Years box from Amazon. Obviously I had to get this, and uh, and this guy keeps falling over. I'm gonna, him up. And I'm gonna put Sherlock Deadpool down because he's clearly been stabbed, he keeps falling over. So this is the little badge from the box that we do get. Obviously with these Amazon boxes, you do get loads of little items as well. So you get this, and we get a t-shirt, which is awesome. I did want another t-shirt, I'm not, I have another Deadpool t-shirt, but it's not great. So we're gonna have a look at this one, and it is in the large, it should be in a large. It's an extra large, so uh, I don't know what, I, I swear I ordered this in a large, but never mind. This should still uh, fit me, an extra large, but that is the Deadpool Nerdy 30 Years t-shirt. I actually can't really see it yet. Oh, wait, the camera, there you go. <laughs> So that is the t-shirt, the let's have a look at it. Yeah, that's pretty nice, I do quite like that. Uh, it looks quite big, uh, I think a large would have fit me perfectly, but yeah, that one still might fit me, so I don't mind them being loose sometimes. So yeah, uh, that is the t-shirt, so let's put that to the side. Right, and I think we've got a little sticker here, a little sticker of the happy birthday with the glasses Deadpool. And we are left with, we've got a little card there, we are left with the pops, so I'm actually going to show the dino pool first, the inverse dino pool. So this is what I was talking about earlier. The inverse dino pool, the only other Deadpool pop to get the inverse treatment. This is the Marvel, Marvel Collector Corpse dino pool, or inverse dino pool. So I'm going to unbox them up. So yeah, this one is awesome. I just love the, uh, the inverse look to them. So yeah, inverse dino pool. Absolute badass looking pop there. Yeah, that's awesome. Right, and the last pop in this box, or well, the second pop, is the Ninja Deadpool. So this one's pretty cool as well. I think this box did get a bit of hate when it first got released, but now I think people are realizing that it's actually a really cool box. And when I first saw it, I was like, wow, that's awesome. I didn't really get the hate of it. Obviously, I'm gonna be biased because it's Deadpool, but I just think that they're just two awesome looking pops. And they're not just, oh, I was about to say they're not just like repaints, but I guess that, that inverse one is just a repaint. But uh, yeah, getting two pops is awesome. Sometimes you only get one pop from the boxes, so to get two is really cool. And I actually really like the inverse. I think that's why it got hate, was because it was just a, a repaint of a very new pop that's just come out. So yeah, sometimes I don't mind it. Uh, this inverse one makes sense because it's been an inverse Deadpool before. If it was just like a chrome repaint or like something something like that, then it wouldn't be as good. But here is the Ninja Deadpool and this one is actually an awesome looking pop. So you've got on there, it's like a dynamic pose, he's about to leap on his prey. I'm gonna slice him up with his swords. And he's already been <laughs> ninja starred in the head and he's got a bow and arrow sticking out on his head there. So that's really funny. But yeah, two really cool like black and red pops. It's really nice, I like that. So these are the new Deadpool Pops that I did get. I'm so excited to unbox them. I finally unboxed them. They've been sitting around in my MyUS for ages now. So yeah, they're going to go straight on this shelf. You can see I've already added some 
to there already. So yeah, hopefully I can fit them all on there. I think I've kind of worked out and I can, but it's going to be quite a squeeze. So yeah, anyway, let's get into the next segment of this collection. It's still going, guys. There's still more pops to unbox. I know it's been a very, very long video, but uh, thank you to anyone who's, you know, even skip watching it like that's cool skip to the end I don't care this is just sort of for for me as well as people who have been asking for it the Deadpool collection is massive so it's obviously gonna be a massively long video anyway let's con continue on let's crack on okay and up next we have the X-Men sort of portion of this video as you can see they're all kind of X-Men related obviously Deadpool is X-Men related anyway but these are like the ones that are part of the X-Men like universe with Deadpool sort of thing. So you've got characters that aren't Deadpool that are from, you know, X-Men movies and then the Deadpool movies as well. So obviously I'm not going to unbox all of these because it's just going to take too long. This video has dragged on way too long enough. I will show you a close up of my favorite one out of here and it is the Cable versus Deadpool. So yeah, here it is, Deadpool versus Cable. Such an awesome pop. Absolutely love this one. And there we go. There's a little 360 of it. So yeah, that is Deadpool versus Cable. And here we have like all of the four Colossus Pops. And then we have the X-Men Deadpool, which could have featured in my OG like Grails thing, because it's the same number. It's, it's number 20, which is the same numbers as all the other ones. But I thought it would be better suited in this sort of collection. Uh, then we have a Negasonic Teen Teenage Warhead down there, the Domino and the Cable. Well, two Cables, the OG sort of one here from the comics, and then the one that looks more like the movie related one. Uh, and then we've got Juggernaut, which is obviously the bad guy in Deadpool 2. And then we have this one over here that we really just won't talk about. We don't need to mention him. Don't even have to look at him. I might crop him out. I don't know yet. But he's here because he's a Deadpool apparently. I don't know. Supposedly. I guess it says Wade Wilson on it, but I don't, I don't believe it. But anyway, we're just going to pretend he doesn't exist. So yeah, I thought I'd just quickly showcase all of these as they technically are included in the Deadpool line. Well, obviously this one is and the blue one, but... The rest technically aren't Deadpool, but they fit. Okay, guys, so we finally made it to the last section of the pops. Now, this is the Sheriff Deadpool Riding Horsey. Absolutely awesome pop, and it is a Funko Shop exclusive, as you can see by the box right here. Funko Shop exclusive. So, yeah, Sheriff Deadpool Riding Horsey, a really awesome pop there. So, that's that one. And then we do have four awesome pops, or five awesome pops here, of the character Gwenpool. So technically still fit in the Deadpool theme. So uh, yeah, I'll quickly give you a few spins of these ones. So here is the selfie Gwenpool. This one's definitely my favorite one, just because I love the way you can actually see her uh, there in the reflection. I'll zoom in so you can see it better. But yeah, that's the selfie Gwenpool. So yeah, that's pretty cool, selfie Gwenpool. And then you've got the three other Gwenpools here. You can kind of see them. I'll spin the, uh, I'll spin the unmasked one quickly, because that's a little bit different. So her hair's a little bit different there, but yeah, that is the unmasked Gwenpool, and then the other two Gwenpools, this one's just holding a phone. And yeah, I'll just quickly show you the, these two might as well, just slightly closer up. So that one's holding a phone, and that one's just sort of got the sword. So yeah, that is the two Gwenpools. And then the boxes for them, they do look like this. So we've got our first Toys R Us exclusive, which is the Gwenpool holding the phone. And then we've got the, this is the selfie Gwenpool one, which is a San Diego Comic Con. This is the 2017 San Diego Comic-Con shared exclusive because we also do have, obviously, the con stickered version, the con exclusive. I don't know why I do this to myself and try and get all the con, con exclusives, but hey-ho, it just makes it more of a collection in my opinion. I know a lot of people, well, some people might disagree with that. They just want to collect the pops, but I love collecting this way, so that's why I do it, <laughs> because I love collecting the pops and the stickers. It just adds something to the collection. So yeah, that is all of the pops. Uh, I know I'm missing the Pride Deadpool and then the new Artist Deadpool, but those have only just come out by the time I'm recording this. This video is going to go a lot later, but they've only just been released. I'll get a couple of pictures up now of both of those, but I will get them eventually. But that, I can safely say, that is every single Deadpool pop ever made, and <laughs> except for the two Freddies that I don't have, that are, I don't even think about them. They're technically not part of the Deadpool line, they're part of the Freddy line. And that is technically all of the Deadpool Pops. I'm going to quickly show you uh, my daubs and other little things there. I've just, just like I did with the X-Men, I'm just going to show them. I'm not going to like do any close-ups or anything. So yeah, let's get into that now. Okay guys, as you can see, I do also have the complete collection of the Deadpool daubs. 
I even hate myself so much that I've got the uh, this three pack just because of Colossus. Uh, I've also got the Juggernaut and Cable, uh, and then obviously all of these are the Depot ones. I do really like this Dorbs though, and the reason is because it's just really rare. It's a, I think it's a five, yeah, 500 piece exclusive Dorbs, and this one took actually a long time to track down and try and find. So I kind of did this on the side when I collected, originally collected all of the Deadpools before they released all of those pops <laughs> that I have now stacked really nicely on that shelf. Uh, but yeah, so I got all of the Dorbs as like a side hustle for my Deadpool collection. And uh, yeah, I'm not like a massive fan of Dorbs, but I just wanted to collect them because it was something else to collect and they're Funko related. So yeah, that's all of the Dorbs. And I also do quite like the Chef one. It's limited to a thousand pieces as well. So that's pretty damn cool. And uh, yeah, you guys can see the, see the rest as well. So <laughs> there is the Dorbs. Okay, and then a few little bits and pieces that I do have left to show you guys. So here are the Pez, some of the Pezes that I do have. I don't own them all yet. I will be picking up them all, so uh, yeah, I just thought I'd stick to the pops first and uh, then make my way towards collecting every other little things like the uh, Pezzes, the Keychains, the Mystery Minis, I don't have them all yet, but I do have all of the Wacky Wobblers that you can see here, they're pretty cool, I do like these Wacky Wobblers, really like the Inverse one, and you've got the X-Force one as well, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And then I really like these two. These are the Super Deluxe Vinyls. Yeah, I really do like these a lot. I think they're like 8 inch, or they might be 10 inch actually. But I think they might be 8. No, they're 9. I believe, I believe they're 9 inch. So yeah, these are the Super Deluxe Vinyls. 9 inch figures. And here's the X-Force one. Yeah, you might have seen these in the, well, you, I would have thought you'd seen these in the background of my videos. Because I have had them on display for quite a while. So that's them. And then, as you can see here, I do have some Mystery Minis. I was trying to stand this one up, but this one keeps falling over. But yeah, I do have some Mystery Minis here, so you can see them all here. And this one is actually a really expensive Mystery Mini. This is the Granny Deadpool. And uh, so yeah, I will aim to get all of the Mystery Minis eventually. But yeah, this is the rarest one that I do own. But you can see the rest of the ones that I do have down here. And then I've got some keychains as well. So these are the only ones I do have currently. But I do have another massive box I was going to open in this video. But I didn't, I didn't expect this video to take this long. I don't know why. But yeah, these are some of the keychains that I do have. So there's them there. And then there is these four. So yeah, I've got about eight keychains. Well, I do have a, a full box of them. Uh, but yeah, I said I won't be opening them in today's video. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this massive Deadpool collection haul. Well, it was mainly targeted towards the Funko Pops. Because it is the complete Deadpool Funko Pop collection. I'm super happy that I'm basically caught up now. Uh, I'm sure they're going to release another 4,962 pops in about a week's time when this video is now out of date. But anyway, <laughs> at this point currently, when I've recorded it, in June, early June, June 2021, I have completed Deadpool Funko. So yeah, I really hope you guys did enjoy it. And I'm going to show you some shots of the whole collection, how I've got it set up now. So I'm sure a lot of you have probably just skipped to the end who started this, which is fair enough. I probably would have done maybe the same thing. But yeah, for those who actually have sat and watched through the majority of the video or even all of the video, a uh, massive thank you to you. If you're one of those people, please let me know if you've watched every second of this video. I'd love to actually know if someone's done that because uh, I feel like that is crazy. So you deserve some sort of award for that. But anyway, yeah, so <laughs> don't forget to check all links in the description and my wish box I do sell on my website at www.growgeek.com. And don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and the bell notification so you can get notified when my videos go live. And catch you next one.